How many of you ever have had trouble enjoying the day that you're in because you're thinking about or stressing about a day that is yet to come? Does anybody struggle with that from time to time or is it just me? Okay, a lot of us struggle to fully participate in the day that we're in because of stress or worry about a day that's coming up. For some of us here today, this is the struggle of our lives. Worry, anxiety. There's always an underlying sense of dread about the future or worry about the future that robs us of today. You're not supposed to worry about your future. I know that seems difficult, especially for young people. But the thing that I've begun to really master is not to worry about tomorrow. There's absolutely nothing you can do about tomorrow. Nothing. You don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know how it's going to go. When you put worry into it tomorrow, you're putting a burden on yourself that you're not built to carry. God designed us to live today. Lord's Prayer says, Give us this day our daily bread, and I ask you nothing about tomorrow, because he wants us to live in today. As a matter of fact, living in today is plenty enough. He broke it down into two pieces. He got the daytime and he got the nighttime. The daytime, you put in all your work and at night you rest. That's your day. If you worry about tomorrow, it accomplishes nothing. You know how many times I've worried about tomorrow and then when I got there, tomorrow was completely different than I thought it was going to be. And all of that worrying was for nothing. Jesus said, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own thing, sufficient for the day as its own trouble. Think about it. The past exists only as mere memory. The future exists only in the imagination. That and all that. But all I know is this. For this day, I got the strength you want me to have. As my days, so shall my strength be. I live on that. I mean, I've got so much stuff going on in my life right now. If I wanted to sit back and worry, I could be a professional worrier. But I've chosen not to do that. Here's what I've learned. I don't know how God's going to deal with tomorrow but I know he's sufficient for today, and I'm going to rest in the promise that he has always kept. He's never, ever outpromised himself. It's not tomorrow that's coming. It's not whatever has happened in the past, but it is where you are right now that God gives you every day and breath that you've got. You've got it for right now. That's why God calls it a present. It's a gift from him that you've got. You may not make it till tomorrow. I know I've made it from yesterday, but folks, where you are right now, you can live. And Lord, Help me to live just one day at a time. Remember this, as your days, so shall your strength be. You're alive right now. Enjoy the blessings of the Lord. You can always enjoy the delights of this day, even though you don't understand everything that God is doing, because life can be unpredictable. So enjoy today, and don't worry about what might happen, because you can't control the future, but you can enjoy today. Worry keeps a lot of people from enjoying life like they should. They're always worried about what's going to happen. Is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? Cory Ten Boom said, Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. None of us know what the future is, but I know who holds tomorrow and I know who holds my hand. So I'm not going to be concerned about that. I'm going to do what the Bible says. I'm going to walk with God. I'm going to believe God and come out on the other side rejoicing and enjoying life. Worry doesn't drain tomorrow of its sorrow. It drains the day of its strength, said Cory Ten Boom. And she's right. In fact, I like the way the New Living Translation puts this verse. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. That's good stuff. Very well translated. The secret to not worrying is to live one day at a time. We've got to stop worrying because it's unbearable. Because when you worry, you tend to borrow from tomorrow. Jesus says, don't do that. Don't worry about tomorrow. And although Jesus doesn't say this directly, it's almost implicit. People borrow from tomorrow. That's bad. And then they steal from yesterday. So they bring in the fears of tomorrow. And they bring in the regrets of yesterday into today. And it makes it unbearable. They end up carrying too many burdens. And this is the lesson Jesus wants to teach us. You can't live happily two or three days at a time. Anxiety is all about getting ahead of God. It's getting ahead of time. In other words, it's on Monday trying to figure out all the what-if catastrophic situations on Thursday and Friday. In fact, you're trying to handle a day or two days more than you should. Corey Tim Boone said this, Anxiety is carrying tomorrow's load with today's strength. Carrying two days, in other words, at once. It's moving into tomorrow ahead of time. Anxiety doesn't empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It empties today of its strength. Isn't it interesting that in the context of worry and anxiety, 
Jesus talks about our relationship with the day. And I would like to say that there are many people in this room, and one of the reasons anxiety and fear might be intensifying in your life is because you are trying to live multiple days at once, and you can't. You are worked up about things that A, may never happen, and B, you may not even be there for them to happen to you. Are you here? Are you here? Are you somewhere five, ten years ago? Are you somewhere five, ten days ago? Are you somewhere five days from now? Or are you here? Here's what I love about God. He's so cool. He's like, I'm going to teach you about today. And he says, um, this. It's not the most encouraging teaching on today. You notice he's like, he's like, listen, today's got a ton of trouble. He's like, tomorrow will take care of itself. Which is another way of saying like, guys, that's what I do. I'm in the future. I'm in the past. And I'm in the present. You can't be. You won't be. And if you try to be, you're going to be worried. I just got to take it a day at a time. Somebody, some of you want to be great. Jesus just wants you to be great today. Some of you want to be married 22 years. Jesus just wants to help you be married today. Some of you want to have kids. Jesus just wants you to be content today. The way to go a long way is just be here today. Here's what I know about Jesus. He will give you the strength to be who you are today. We're not talking about tomorrow. For when tomorrow comes, it will be today. Needs my focus. Today needs everything I've got. I need to be my best for today because tomorrow isn't even guaranteed. And it's got plenty of troubles for there. So he's saying, don't let the worries of tomorrow rob you of the joy and the focus and the opportunity of today. But the problem with you is, and sometimes with me, we pick fights with tomorrow and we exhaust ourselves fighting tomorrow's battles. And we drain ourselves of today's strengths. We import tomorrow's troubles into today, and there's no grace for that. We have no strength for that. That's why we have said for generations, don't cross that bridge till you get to it. But we cross bridges that are 5 and 10 and 15 miles down the road. We've got to live one day at a time. Deuteronomy 33, 25. Write it down. As your days, so shall your strength be. God's grace is a bit like manna in the wilderness. He gives us enough for the day we're in. You can't store it. You can't hoard it. That's why I like the words of Paul Powell. There are two days out of every week we must learn never to worry about. Just two. One is yesterday and the other is tomorrow. Yesterday has passed and gone forever. Tomorrow has not yet arrived and is as far beyond our control as yesterday. That leaves only today for us to live and struggle through. Anyone can fight the battles of today. Any woman can carry the burdens of one day. Any man can resist the temptations of one day. And that's true. Live one day at a time. Only one person knows what's going to happen tomorrow. And that is God. It's very clear in scripture that God is the one who is in control of your tomorrow. But we need to be careful that we don't focus on the past too much or the future, but focus on where you're at today. Tomorrow belongs to God. I know you're scared. The times are shaky. The odds are set against you and I know you're worried. And I know you're scared. I'm not saying you won't go through tests. I'm not saying you won't go through trials. I'm not saying you're going to get everything you want. But I'm telling you that God has an expected end for your life. And that his thoughts are good towards you and not evil. And whatever comes and whoever goes, God is still going to bless you. And you stop worrying about your future. Tomorrow belongs to God.